Good morning, guys. It is um, almost 10, if not 10 at this point. Been up for a little bit and I had breakfast. I'll go and I'll insert a picture of my breakfast here. Basically carved up this morning because today we are going dog sledding. So it's cold out today. It's minus 17 Celsius, which is cold. <laughs> Not as cold as Manitoba used to get. Manitoba was pretty cold. There's a lot of other places in Canada that, that are much colder. There's lots of other places in the world that are much colder, but minus 17 Celsius is pretty cold for me, who's used to like zero being like freaking frigid. Um, but still gonna go, still gonna have fun. I braided mine and Ella's hair and I'm just wearing some like workout gear, just like a sweat wicking shirt with a sports bra and some leggings and socks. And this is just what I'm gonna wear in the car. Are you um, there, and then, oh, oh my gosh. What? Anyway, um, yeah, so I got Ella's snowsuit and her toasty socks. I got her hood and I gave her one of my tubes. Okay. And she's got a spare pair of gloves. Sounds good. You gave the dogs their bones when you put them in there? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So, so, whenever you guys are ready, you can get going. Okay. Well, we're gonna go. We have a couple things to do before we actually get on the road to the place. Um, but, yeah. Can I go dog sledding? <laughs> Here, you guys get started. We'll grab that blanket for Ella. Okay. Oh, Ella. Oh, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> They're They're all ready to go. <laughs> was it cold? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Probably going back. Going back? It wasn't all the dogs that you got to pet? Oh, I guess. <laughs> Which dog was the craziest? The one that was jumping in the grass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to stop, did he? Yeah. No. And our two front dogs were strong, weren't they? Yeah. They were fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> that first part where you were laughing hysterically, that was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. They were fast, don't they? The dogs <laughs> We are back home after our adventure. Unfortunately, I thought that when, like when we went, I basically thought that Ty, Ella, and I were gonna be on a sled, on the sled, but because they do smaller dog teams so that not only is it more manageable for them, but it also, you don't go as fast and um, the course is a lot, is like really windy and it's very, it's a lot smaller. Um, and on top of that, take a washroom break, please. Um, I can do it up here. What? I can do it up here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but also, um, it doesn't make the it as long from like the instruct like from from sled to sled. The space isn't as big, so because of that, there's definitely a weight limit. So we exceeded that weight limit with two adults and a kid. So I had to drive the whole time and Ella had to be in the little thing, but she was so cold that she could, she had Ty's gigantic mitts on and she couldn't um, hold the camera. And I was hoping to be able to sit down and to get some footage of Ty and Ella driving and then footage of from behind the dogs and stuff like that and get really good stuff for you guys. But I don't have like a GoPro or anything like that. And I didn't bring my harness for my camera i really wish i could have because then it could have sat right here and it would have been bumpy footage but at least it would have been something i have some pictures that i'll insert for you guys um but basically it was ridiculously fun all of my muscles are sore if you guys want a good exercise to do that is an activity and that is fun and getting out I highly, highly recommend going and seeing if you can get um, some, if you can, if you're able to do some dog sledding. Was it lots of fun? 
Yeah. Yeah. But mostly chilly. You're very chilly, right? My feet froze. Your feet froze? Someone has rocks. Oh my goodness. I did. Did you feed maple too? And give the dogs water? Please go check. Um but basically we had such an absolutely amazing time afterwards we got to warm up with some hot dogs and some hot cocoa and it was just really fun poor ella she was so cold she was frozen just to the bone um and we wound up um i wound up having to carry her back we got about three-fourths of the way to the trail and then i wound up having to carry her all the way back on my back um, through the snow <laughs> um, in order to get her warmed up in one of the little TP things with a heater um, but after that she was feeling a lot better um, we met another family um, there which was really nice he works for the French ambassador um, so he he and his family were absolutely sweet they were just really generous very sweet people and um, we really connected with them so that's really cool and um, yeah it was just it was just a lot of fun and I highly recommend it if you can do it it's Oh, probably a once in a lifetime experience, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, it's, it was amazing. So I think that's it for today. I'm sorry I didn't get more footage. Um, if I'm able to, I'll see if I can put some footage. Um, maybe I got, maybe Ty got something. So I'll, I'll go and I'll see if I can put some um, other footage in here if Ty got anything or if I got something on my phone maybe, but we'll see. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and If you like videos like this just like our family Experiences then make sure to subscribe so that you are notified every single time I post a video like this I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye